Okay, you guys, welcome back to another Saute Saturday. So today we're gonna do something really fun and in honor of my grandmother. So for every kind of memorial kind of holiday, whether it be Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, she always made some kind of flag cake. She didn't do it really anything like this, but each year for every holiday, I've always done something in honor of her. So this is called the Summer Berry No Bake Cake, and I think this is perfect for you guys to bring to a barbecue or any kind of event you're going to go to for the rest of the year, whether it be 4th of July or Labor Day. Some, So pretty simple. For this cake, you're just going to need some fresh blueberries about a cup and a half you're going to need about two cups of sliced strawberries you're going to need an eight ounce package of cream cheese you're going to need two and a half cups of cold whole milk you're also going to need a whipped topping now it's they ask for somewhat of a weird amount so the small container is too little but the big container is too much so you just gotta get the big container and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of extra whipped cream I got two boxes of vanilla pudding the only reason why there is two different color boxes here is because I shopped my pantry and I had two well, I had a bunch more but I pulled the ones with the oldest dates first and that's what I'm using in this recipe so they're from two different stores and then we're also going to need some graham crackers. And then we're gonna need some white chocolate for melting. This is my double boiler. And then we're also going to need some shredded coconut. This is not part of the recipe, which I will attach in the description box below. This is just an additive for me. I thought this would, this would be a nice touch. So let's get into making this recipe. So first step is we're gonna put that cream cheese in the bowl, hint, you want this as softened and room temperature as possible because that'll just help in the mixing. And then we're just gonna add both of the pudding packets and mix well. If it looks crumbly, then you're doing it right. And now we're going to incorporate the milk. So the suggestions are to add milk a little bit at a time. And being that it's two and a half cups, I just did half cup increments. I know it's a little time consuming, but it definitely helps with making the pudding good and smooth. And the smoother, the better for when we're layering. Once everything is blended well and you have a good smooth creamy texture, you're going to fold in the whipped topping. Do not put the hand mixer or any kind of blender to the whipped topping, you will turn it into soup. You want it to be thick consistency, so you wanna just fold it in with a spatula and mix really well. Now the fun part. So now we're gonna start layering. So you're going to take a nine by 13 pan and you're going to put some of this cheesecake batter mixture into the bottom of this. You just want something for the graham crackers to stick to. And then you're going to add the graham crackers to the cream cheese filling. And you're going to put as many as you could fit all the way around the container. You wanna leave no spots unseen. You're gonna cover with another layer of this whipped cream cheesecake mixture. And then now you're gonna lay your fruit. You really can do this in any pattern that you want. There's no rhyme or reason to it. But once you layer those blueberries and strawberries, I added a sprinkle of that coconut. It really is such a great addition to this. I didn't even know it then. Uh, my suggestion on the next layer would be, since I had a little bit of extra topping for this, I definitely think I would have put another layer of cream on top of the fruit so that the graham cracker stuck to it, but that's just for future reference. But you just keep layering until all of your items are pretty much complete. That was three layers for me. And then once I was done with that, I started assembling what looked like a flag cake. That is the whole point of this for me, making the top look pretty and patriotic and being able to do that for every patriotic holiday, like I said, really makes me feel good to know that my grandmother is looking down on me and watching. 
Uh, and then I took the coconut and I put that in between. This way it still stayed red, white, and blue. And I just put that in the stripes. So that part was awesome. And then I melted the chocolate. So the best part of this double boiler is taking the boiling water. And once it's boiled, you just put the pan off the heat right on top. And you just add the chocolate and keep stirring until it's completely smooth. Once it was completely smooth, I probably should have piped it on, again, something for future reference. I was trying to go for that organic feel and make it look splattered, which all that did was make a mess all over me and my countertop, but I think the end result really was beautiful. All right, guys, so that's it for this saute Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe for the summer berry ice box no bake cake you need to refrigerate this cake for at least four hours after it makes those graham crackers soft which ends up making like a cake texture consistency so it's like making a cake without baking so again i think this is super fast and easy for any kind of barbecue or something that you have and i was excited to share it with you guys so if you liked this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button i post a saute saturday every other Saturday here on the channel and for everybody else guys thank you so much I love you so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys